How's it going guys? This is David, your US representative for QSP and welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm going to be introducing you to the Rhino. So if you haven't seen it, this is going to be the video for that knife. On the table we have a comparison. This is going to be the Penguin XL and we're going to be doing that against uh, these knives. So you're going to have a difference between some of the ones that were the prototypes that have been out there. So you've seen some reviews on it and the production side of things. Uh, so this is going to be the uh, production and this is the prototype. So you're going to see a different blade shape uh, between the two of them. So this is going to be what you're going to be seeing on the production side. So it is a little bit different blade shape. It's almost like a Tonto uh, style. So this is actually the way it was drawn initially. Uh, so that's where it kind of went back to um, the original uh, design of the knife. Uh, there actually is a compound grind as well. So that's going to be where you're going to see the difference in pricing. Uh, this one's going to be uh, probably about uh, 360 uh, that you're going to pick it up for. And then the compound grind is going to be about 430. Uh, so that is that difference. Uh, so actually, the other one's so popular, we actually don't have it. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you uh, just the flat grind uh, ones. Uh, so this is going to be the letter C, uh, a little bit out of order, uh, but this is going to be that purple. Uh, we're going to also do have the uh, letter A. So it's going to be the plain guy for that guy. So letter A, C on this one. So you're going to get different anodization. You're also going to get T8 hardware, uh, and it's also a T8 titanium hardware uh, for these. Uh, so that's going to be all these nut parts are going to be titanium here, here, and also on the back side. So this is actually a T8 um, hardware as well. So it's T8 all the way around. Uh, even with that, uh, that uh, hardened insert is going to be T8. And as you see, you're going to have that Mokutai um, clip there. And also the back spacer is going to be Mokutai. So the one thing that's really a standout is uh, this milling as far as the uh, spine, uh, as far as the blade, all the way down um, to that back spacer. And it's all going to be Mokutai uh, for that back spacer and that clip. Uh, so we might be looking at some different variations as we go forward. Maybe we'll do a titanium uh, plain clip and uh, backspacer for it. Still keeping to that milling, uh, but there's going to be that sizing for it. So the blade length on this one is going to be about 3.25. Uh, so that's going to be for the Rhino here. And then the actual uh, grip area is going to be also probably about a 3.25. Uh, so for a uh, large size hand, uh, so there's my, my grip for it. Uh, so depends on what your uh, hand size is. This might be uh, either perfect for you or a little bit uh, small, but uh, that's going to be kind of how that's going to sit for you. Uh, so this is going to be the letter B. So this is first one is A. This guy is B. So a little bit different in coloration. So you're going to have a blacked out stone wash, also the blacked out handle, still with that um, that same type of hardware. So the T8's all around. You're also going to have the M390 blade steel. So premium stuff, uh, premium materials. Uh, so if you guys know known us for uh, the items that we have for the OEM projects, uh, we have a lot of those things kind of ranging uh, from the budget side up to premium. So even for those, uh, we do have those available. But uh, just come over to the main source as far as QSP, and then we have some other options. So we take you all the way from $28 all up to that $430 range. And then this last one is going to be on the uh, 130D or 143D. It's going to be more of that bronze style handle, so it's still titanium on it, uh, but that's going to be uh, that coloration you're going to get. You're going to have a different blade uh, finish. And then also between the uh, prototype and the regular one. So you're gonna have a little bit different for that lock bar relief. So this is the production one, and it has a little bit uh, easier access to that frame lock. And then the prototype side uh, was pretty flat for it, so it's a little bit um, less access. And also you do have a chamfer here. So with this pr no, production side, you do get that chamfer for some ease, uh, some premium feel for that as well. Uh, so there's going to be good, some good things that happen with that uh, for the production side in comparison to the prototypes. Uh, but that's going to be what it looks like again against that uh, XL uh, Penguin. So we do have the XL, we have the regular Penguin, and then we have the small Penguin or the mini Penguin. And we also do have a slip joint Penguin in the works. So come by and check that one out later. But we'll put, throw this one up here as far as all the other ones. And then you can kind of see what they look like. So that's going to be A. A there, B, C, and D. Oop, a little bit out of the frame there, so I'm going to move that up. You can kind of see how those are. 
uh, for the different colors you get. And then we're going to go over to now, the website for it so you can actually see the difference between the other blades. Uh, so this is going to be uh, what you're going to have for uh, the standard one, so A, B, C, D. And also these are going to be the compound grinds, that's going to be the E and the F. So that's where you're going to see the difference, so that's where it gets a little confusing sometimes if you go, well why are these more expensive? And it is because of that grind there, so it is a compound grind, so it's a flat tip and then a hollow grind uh, for that center section of the blade. But check those out. Let us know as far as what you think about those. And we are going to be having some other models coming out. So we'll have some other videos um, that will be on the channel too. Uh, so check those out. Also help us out with names uh, for those different videos. So the SHOT Show coverage, if that's available for you, go on YouTube. Uh, check those out with the different retailers. And then let us know as far as what you like and also uh, what names you like for those knives too. But thanks for stopping by and let us know what you have and join along uh, for this journey.